Why is stock photography popular among photographers? If you want to earn money when you are on holiday, even when you are on a month break, this flexibility is a major driver for photographers who work in stock photography full time. If you can earn 500 US dollars from one stock site, you can earn 3,000 US dollars from total 10 stock sites. Value is not 10 times, as the smaller agencies sell a lot less. Stock photography improves your overall quality of your photography. Stock photography pushes you to a new level. Stock photography creates a scope to have passive income from your hobby. Shared experiences. Kathy Hewlett, owner of monkeybusinessimages.com shares, We're a production company. We produce stock photography and video and travel around the world doing it, she said. We work on a team of about 10. I think of what we're going to shoot. You run your own show and decide what to do. You're as good as your pictures. Analyze the market through useful tools. Be the supply of the demand. Take help from research.pickworkflow.com. This tool gives you an arbitrary rating for possible search queries. If you're a really awesome photographer, anything over about 20 to 25 is good. If you're producing average quality, then something over 100 to 200. Learn what type of images buyers want. To maximize your success, you need to understand what buyers are looking for. Learn what type of images buyers want. The following are hotcakes of buyers. Distinct variations from the same shoot. Thoughtful room for text, so buyers, editors or publishers, can place their own text on image. Images that they can't find anywhere else. That's the glass point. Your creativeness and uniqueness can create such photo. Images that show authenticity. Images that show cultural diversity. Images that show local culture. Images having both literal and conceptual meaning. Try to shoot images those have both literal and conceptual meaning. An image of a bird flying towards the sun while sunset represents literal subject matters such as bird, sunset, bird flying towards sun. This image also can represent abstract concepts like freedom, liberty, and more. Images those have both meaning, literal plus conceptual, are more likely to be popular as stock images. Save some negative space. Images that have plenty of negative space are great stock photos. Buyers often use purchased photos in posters on full-page advertising. Therefore, they need space for words and quotes. Negative space, sometimes referred to as white space, is a concept that's been used in art, design, architecture, and sculpture for hundreds of years. It's equally useful in photography and can be used to turn an average photo into an outstanding one. Unfortunately, it's something that's understood by relatively few people, but with a little bit of practice it can help you look at your photos in a new way, transforming your compositions and producing truly breathtaking results. But what is negative space? Negative space is the area which surrounds the main subject in your photo. Negative space defines and emphasizes the main subject of your photo, drawing your eye to it. It provides breathing room, giving your eyes somewhere to rest and preventing your image from appearing too cluttered with stuff. All of this adds up to a more engaging composition. Negative space provides breathing room and draws your eye to the main subject. When used properly, negative space provides a natural balance against the positive space in the scene. Getting this balance right is tricky and rather subjective, but it's something you'll get better at with time and practice. Mastering the use of negative space takes time. We're so used to focusing on the main subject in a scene that it can seem strange to treat it almost as an afterthought. However, doing so will make you consider each element in your scene more carefully, leading to much stronger composition. Expert yourself in a few domain. Find a niche. Expert yourself in a few domain with your own style and class. Try to create unique look and style. Buyers searches slash buys images those they can't find anywhere else. Unique images are highly searched and bought by buyers. Four steps to create your own photography style. Step one. Determine your goals. What are you looking to pursue or accomplish with your photography? You may want to shoot product photography, wedding, portraits, or you may be interested in fine arts. Do you want anything else to accomplish with? What do you enjoy about photography? You may enjoy black and white type of genre. Do you enjoy people laughing in portraits? Or you may enjoy taking photos of mountains, sea beaches. The fact that you need to find what kind of shoot is more enjoyable to you. Step. Two, research and analyze to find your inspiration. 
Analyze the photography market and find people or group of people who are creating better photos in your industry you are interested in. For example, you may like taking photos of mountains, sea beaches. Now try to find the best photographers who are making extraordinary performances in this industry. Take their work as inspirational factor for you. Absolutely you will create unique style of yourself, but you can use their work as inspiration, not copy their work. Don't forget that. Your photographs are a visual representation of your brand, your own brand. So try your best to create unique edge to your work. Step 3. Criticize your photographs. Criticizing your work or photographs by yourself. Get feedback from your friend, colleague, family members, other professional photographers. Although this is hard step, but it will help you in the future slash in the long run. Look for similarities and dissimilarities between the photographs including subject matter, composition, depth of field, lenses used, tones, colors, and any unique elements your eye may catch. If you know your weak points, try to overcome these weak points. You will definitely do well. Step 4. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. After you've defined your style and written your rules, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Several times, extraordinary photographs being created from making mistakes. Success theory and stock photography. Stock photography is a number game. The more quality photos you have in stock sites, the more sales will make. Success in stock photography depends on 1. Quality images 2. Quantity of images 3. High rating area, low competition plus high buyer request. Income in stock photography is directly proportional to your effort, quality plus quantity images, how well you observe slash see the market, find low competition plus high buyer request, keep yourself informed and up to date with micro slash macro stock news, latest topics slash technologies where buyer may want to be interested. Prepare yourself before shooting. Preparing before shooting saves time. Location relevant preparation. Analyze your location. Analyze weather of targeted location. Check directions in Google Map. Arrive early before shooting. Selected image preparation. Prepare a list of targeted images. Do some test shoots before final shoot. Camera gear relevant preparation. Figure out which equipment you want to bring. Clean your lenses and camera body sensor. Format your memory cards. Clean filters. Polarization filters, neural density filters, etc. Charge batteries plus spare batteries. Shoot more and more. Go out and take more photos. Learn new things and try new things. Try to shoot in different angles. Keep up with changes. Get model release early. Model releases help protect both the photographer and customer from any claims that may be brought by the model due to the use of the model's likeness. By obtaining a model release, the photographer is given the right to use the model's likeness under the conditions laid out in the release. Before shooting images those contain model, get model release early because it saves time. Use universal model release form. Every stock agency site has their own model release form, but your target is to submit more stock photography site and earn money. So, use a universal model release form. Universal model release form saves our time and money. Universal model release form creates slash saves a scope for future. In future, you can submit photos to new stock sites. Submit to multiple stock agency sites. Micro stock, lower license fee, higher volume sales. Shutterstock, iStock, Dreams Time, Photolia, Big Stock Photo. Macro Sites, Higher License Fee, Lower Volume Sales. Alamy, Getty, Corbus. Benefits of submitting to multiple stock agency sites. Different stock sites has different customer bases, those searching images of similar keywords. Photographs that are rejected by one agency can be accepted and sold by another because stock sites have different interest of field. Market yourself slash brand yourself. Logging. Write tips and tricks, your views on photography. Write blog posts about your photo. Website marketing. Showcase your photos in websites. Facebook slash Twitter marketing. 
attend in competition, and share pronounceable contents in Facebook slash Twitter. Post photos slash suits periodically in Facebook and Twitter. YouTube Marketing Publish shooting content like photos slash videos in YouTube. Invest your time in proper metadata and keywording your photos. If you don't put your time behind keywording your photos, then there is a lot of chance that buyer will not find your photo. While keywording, think your image like a buyer. Use 25 to 45 accurate keywords and customize them for every images as much as possible. Make your titles and descriptions unique. While keywording, think of both descriptive meaning and conceptual meaning. Don't spam keywords and description. Never label your images with irrelevant keywords in an attempt to get more views. The keywording and metadata idea is to help customers to find the right image. Stock sites reserve the rights to ban contributor who use spam keywords. Avoid chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is an optical problem with a lens that results in colored edges around the objects. This issue notifiable at most cases of high contrast areas. For example, edges of a tree against a sky. To avoid chromatic aberration, use high quality lenses or remove it in post-production. Avoid JPEG compression artifacts. While images saved as a JPEG, lossy compression is applied. If too much compression is applied, then compression artifacts will be visible. Also, image quality will be degraded. To avoid JPEG compression artifacts, shoot images in RAW format or select the highest JPEG quality setting in your camera's settings. Don't submit too many photos at the same time. Don't submit too many photos at the same time, otherwise they may be rejected. Suppose you have taken several snap of an object in several angle. There is a chance that stock agency site will accept only one image out of these. Inspect images at full size or more. Before submitting images to stock photography site, inspect images at 100 to 200 percent to locate noise, artifacts, and other defects that might reject your image. If any noise, artifacts, or defects appears, remove them using image editing tools. If noise, artifact, or defects are not possible to remove through image editing tools, try to shoot again. Use of cloning tools or brushes to get rid of dust and scratches. A dirty camera sensor or lens will cause dark spots or dust particles to appear on images. If any images has scratches or dust spots, it will be rejected. To get rid of them, clean camera sensor and lens frequently. While changing lenses, take proper way as no dust goes inside camera sensor or lens. Be aware of brand and logos. Image contains brand and logos are rejected by stock photography sites. If you already took an image where brand or logo exists, then remove those using photo editing tools. But the problem is, it's time consuming. You can change angle, perspective to skip logo, which will save your time. Remove watermark, date stamps, and signature. Stock image agency does not accept images those have watermarks, date stamps, signature, personal branding information. Noise issue. Use a very low ISO setting. In a very low ISO setting, your camera sensor gives you the best. For example, ISO 100. In very low ISO setting, both total reproduction and colors will be very high quality. In very low ISO setting, the amount of noise produced will be minimal. To control exposure in low ISO, use tripod. Include reference image for auto-traced or live-traced illustrations. A reference image needs to be uploaded in the property release field if an illustration was created from another image. Keep in mind that you must also own the copyright of the supplied image. 